what's up guys, Mills Call here. Welcome back to Space Engineers, episode 96. When we left off, we welded things finally. Um, it was a lot of fun, as usual. <laughs> as usual, it's always fun. Uh, performance issues are happening. It's, it's just another day in Muley LP. Um... Yeah, it turned out good. Um, I'm taking a second look at it right now because I didn't like the shape of what I saw before. And I just wanted to kind of look at it. Okay. So it's not as bad as I thought it was. Um, what I'm thinking is the guns will give it a little more shape. Someone also said I should probably put some protection for the guns and... I couldn't agree more. Um, what I'm thinking about doing is putting a gun here and maybe some half slabs here. Um, I don't want to go over protection because the point of guns is to shoot at things. And as you can tell from me walking around, I also need to move um, the gravity generator at some point because the nose of this thing just doesn't have gravity and how the heck did I get out of here? Up through here. Okay, get down here into the darkness again, Muley. Make it dark. Make it dark again. It was nice. See? Oh, look at that. Here, look at the ground for a minute. Okay. I kind of like this dark ambient. Not really ambient. What would I call it? This dark darkness. Dark darkness. Good, good job. I did it. Um, but yeah, that's cool. So, uh, we can do guns, we can do conveyors, we can also work on the shape more. I think I'm going to start making more shapes because air tightness is coming out. And through uh, looking at some of the past footage, I've kind of wanted to address some of the air tightness issues. Um, because this is a big space right here. Uh, and it's connected here to another big space and there's a door here which closes this off but yeah there's there's just a lot of space to cover and I'm thinking part of the solution for that is some sort of interior wall the tricky part in a, about an interior wall is a lot of these aren't airtight blocks um, namely these hydrogen tanks and this. So if I were to put an air, a wall here, I'd have to stop it here, which wouldn't make it airtight. If I put it here, it would make it airtight, but then this would just be kind of blocked off. Um, a solution would be to take this out and put a corridor going up. If that's what they call them nowadays. What do the cool kids call those nowadays? Is it a corridor? No. What would it be? Uh, let's scroll a bit. Let's explore. Let's see. It is a... Would it be under... Gosh, what would it be? I think it's a block. Hmm. This one here. Passage. Corridor passage. I mean, come on. <laughs> So yeah, the passages are three-sided, though. I really like a tube. Just a straight-up tube, and I can't get it without modded. Um, unless I do something fancy. Maybe half blocks standing on end if they do that. I'm pretty sure they do. Um, but then that might look a little janky, too. Uh, the other option would be to move it, but that's almost not possible because of how everything's set up. And I really like this glass, and I don't want to compromise on the glass. Uh, because I like being walking through here and just seeing another layer. It's, it's nice, you know. I mean, we won't be looking up all the time, but it's still one of those things. And hey, why aren't you turned on? Um, spot. Spotlight 4. Turn on. 
Yeah, there's some light. That looks actually pretty cool. Uh, too bad it's gonna have to go because it's very blinding. And it's not really the feel I'm going for. Did I get all that? I'm sure I did. But yeah, um, so yeah, there's, there's things to work out, guys. I really need to address these issues sooner than later. Um, this one's kind of a big one, and we don't really need this steel catwalk as much as it looks nice and everything. We need to figure this out. So, um, where to begin? The shape, the air tightness issues. I think the shape, because we can work out air tightness a little better if we start finishing this up. So, we do something here. Um, was I ever... I had an idea to put a gun there, but I think I stopped because of this thruster. Uh, let's see. We have that. We have how many blocks? One, two, three, four. I might put it here. What do we got here? We got three. Let's, let's play. Let's play with some blocks. So we go... And it totally kills the shape of the... Ah, it's not bad. I think it's far away enough. I mean, that thruster's not gonna melt that. What I should do is this. And we're just gonna do a test real quick. I don't think it's gonna burn that block, but you never know. Let's go, uh, let's go try and burn that block. Because that's all you can do is test for these kind of things, right? So let's see, anything below me? Nope. Okay, ready? Oh, that's the wrong one. It's this one. Boy, it gets close, I think. And stop. I don't think there's anything above me. No, it doesn't look like it. I'm just going to get some speed and see if I can burn that at all. I don't think I can. Okay. Let's go look. I think I've got block damage on because I like it to be more realistic like that. No hidden thrusters, that kind of thing. Uh, looks 100%. And we're actually going to have it right there, so I think it's going to be okay to... Gun right there. Let's do the same on the other side. And we'll convey it up. Um, and yeah, that'll be okay, I think. It kind of kills the shape a bit, but it's not horrible. Um, I can still do something like this. Hmm. Maybe. Well, yeah, I can. I mean, we just do this, right? You're gonna get finished now. Just so we can, uh, get that out of the way. Because it's gonna be covered up, so... If I do anything shape-wise there. So there's that. Um, we have big windows there. Okay. We can do something to get this figured out. So, I'm going to need some blocks. I'm going to need some light armor slope base, which is right there. Perfect. Also going to need some light armor corner base. Um, and we'll worry about the other stuff here in a bit. Okay. So, light armor. Uh, let's just do that. Same on this side. Oh, already did. Already did. Now we need to kind of round it. I'm thinking... Okay, so we do number eight. Here we go with the corners again, guys. Bear with me. Now this one would be a corner. And I need to hit the T. No, not Y. T. Like this. Correct. And this would be a base. need it to wrap around so 
we do a hmm I guess I could take that doesn't need to be let's see wouldn't be airtight then what I need here is a slope tip if I was going to do it that way Hmm. Some of these shapes are tough for me to work with because I'm not very good at this, guys. I've said it for about 20 episodes now. Um, do we round it out and then just 45 slope it? That'd be the way. Hmm. <laughs> That's cute. It's wrong, though. And honestly, this doesn't even need to be like that. What we can do is a... Let's see, it would be a corner though. Probably inverted? Is that my guess? No? Half armor slope? <laughs> These half armor blocks are tricky. Gosh, I don't know. I don't know. Do we do that? And just continue on our merry way? I really don't like that boxy front though. This is the toughest part for me. Because if it was just like I did another tip, it would go right there and it'd be perfect. Like it'd have no issues. The only thing is it's gotta be airtight. That's part of the problem, getting this to wrap around like that. So, we take this out, and we brainstorm. Um, hmm. I think it's safe to do that. And then, figuring out this corner. Okay, so if we go here, that's fine too, right? Okay, that only makes that hole. So let's um, let's get it to that point. Let's get it to that point, and then we'll worry about other things. So let's see. I went. What was it? Four cross total. One, two, three, four. Okay. Over here, I think I did three. Okay, so there would be another one here, and here and here, and then we took out these. So we can figure out a shape. I think that's what I did. Now see, I can weld all of these. Someone uh, mentioned, why do you have a welding ship and you don't use it? Um, the reason being, like I've welded all that and I still have 192 blocks to work with. I can place 192 and finish them later, if that's the case. Um, there's a really easy, simple solution to this. I can see it now. It's literally like this. That corner is done. It matches that top one. I don't have to bring it up to that. It's coming down, so... I think that's alright. I think that patches that up. Same on this side. We go number five slope. Boop, boop. One, two, three, four. You're done. You're done. Just like that. And then we need to figure out a corner. Now, the easy thing to do here would be to put this here and just match it up. Just like this. So we have that solid front. Or it looks solid. It's a big flat wall. It's going to eat some damage. Um, and I can even do it here. Well, that's slope, but... Go like this. Just like that. That takes care of that. Then we got a little hole to patch. 
which we can cover with the slope. We can actually just do it. Um, how skinny am I? Ooh. Pretty skinny, Muley. Eat a cheeseburger, Muley. I do. Every day. Okay, I was gonna say, we out of steel plates? Nah. Never. We never run out of those. Okay, where are you? You're done. You're not. You are. You're all done. You're all done. Good job. Okay, um... This seems easier now that that's done. Because we do this, and that kills that angle. Same on this side. And then we do... Would it be... Corner? Do we do a corner? Hmm. We do that. And then we go this one. Oh, I figured it out. Oh my goodness, Muley, you did it. You're so good at this game. How do you, how do you do it, man? <sighs> Guys, it's a gift. It's really a gift. And I know it's got that little dooty doo sticking out. That's okay. That's what I'm going to call it anyway. It's a dooty doo. Right there. Do it right. Just like that. The toggle's off. You. you Work with me, game, okay? Corners are hard enough for me. Um, and yeah, you're all welded up. Now, what do I think of that? I think it's okay. I've been thinking of this and how this slope comes down. And part of me thought maybe we can stick another little room up here. And the sole purpose of this room would be a weapon. The, the weapon room, basically. The people that come up here, their only mission is to fire the different turrets on the ship. And I think that's a great idea, because this thing needs more controls than this one. Um, and yeah, I don't know, what do you guys think? It would just be like a one block high room, uh, and it would come out and just kind of eat up some of this drop right here. Because I, I don't I'm not sold on the drop. I th I don't know. Look at it as a whole. Here, come out here and check this out. Like that drop just doesn't really do the shape justice. I don't think. Because you got this big broad front. It's on a 45 degree angle. It comes out. It even goes further out. You know, it's it's a good angle. Like that's a straight up angle. Now this, it like flattens out, and then it goes up for the hangar. And I think a little tiny room right here, nice and simple, a couple little windows, heavy armor, would do the shape a little bit more justice. But yeah, um, let's let's focus, Muley. Focus. Just do that. Boop. Airtight. No, I'm kidding. Um, it would be Zeus one. Like this. Because we match the angle everywhere else except for right. Not there. Think skinny. Think skinny thoughts. Salad. And that was a uh, feat of engineering in itself. I don't know how that attached. But yeah, right here. Boop and boop. Now the whole ship's airtight. Maybe. Not really. These windows need done. We did do something here too. Um, you know, it'd be kind of cool here. Spotlights, because you never know. Space is a very dark place, and what did I? Hmm. I think we'll take that out because. Or should we? I don't know. This was an afterthought. This thing coming out and wrapping around. Which would actually do the shape some justice. But... I don't know. There's cutouts here. Ridiculous. So what did I do? 
here, here, here. Is that the same shape? Just three. Yep, okay. Don't you performance issue on me. I know this still needs patched up, but this will be okay. This will be okay work. Uh, I just need girders and silicon before I really hammer that out. Uh, some lights. Hmm. I guess we go here with the light. Or... No, we gotta go lights. Gotta go lights. Do I do doubles? Nah, let's just do singles because I can. Because I don't want it to be too bright, you know. Just get the plates on there. We'll figure out that shape after we figure out what you guys think about that extra little weapon room. Um, someone also said I could move this back one and uh, kick the chair, do a backflip. Hmm. Move the chair back one. I don't have the inventory space, so let's not do that quite yet. Right here, right here. 500, that should do it, right? Uh, does this flight seat... Uh, it has all my groupings, though, and I really don't want to mess with that. So that's, that's okay. Um, move the chair back one. I could put pillars up. I think it was Argamas who said put some pillars up here. Um, that's not a half bad idea is to put some pillars in here to take up this big empty space. Because I mean it's empty and it looks empty even when... Oh! Is this our first test with everything up? It's gonna be fine but... Yeah! Very nice. Should have put one here too, but that's alright. We're not going to worry about it too much. This is just... Uh, I think Argabus said to put some glass either here or where was it? I think this is occupied by that glass. But yeah, glass here? I don't know. Would we be layering it too much? I think if we're getting shot, we're getting shot and... Yeah, <laughs> that's just that. Hmm. I don't know. I do like the shape in here, though. This is nice. What I would do for aesthetics would be this. Just a little thing like this. And it's more armor. And it looks a little better, right? Just gives it more of a gradual slope. Um, this one? This, 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 this. That corner looks weird, but we're not going to worry about that. Okay. Conveyors. Um, <clears throat> should do conveyors. Now if I was... No, that's fine, that's fine. I was going to say, should I move that? But nope, it's good. Uh, curved conveyor tube. No, we need... Convey... Covney. Fair junction, let's do this. Or no, which one's the plus? There it is. This one. This is the one I want. Um which I just put in the wrong place, but that's okay. It's fine. There. The things with the plus symbol you can cycle through the different kinds. In case you didn't know. <clears throat> I think at this point in the playthrough, everyone should know that. But, you know doesn't help to tell the new people welcome once in a while, you know? You know what I mean? So we go conveyor. That's gonna be a gun. We go straight pipe to here. We curve back to here. Mm-hmm. Shapes. 
Shapes, 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 shapes. Straight pipe. There we go. Now the game's going, you're killing me. <laughs> All of these angles and stuff is killing me. You have to make conveyors. Good times. Good, good times. Okay. Conveyors are hooked up for those. Um. It's an asteroid. Need to get some guns here. I should start placing some guns so I don't lose my train of thought too bad. Uh, gun there. Should have some sort of gun over here. Gun there. No, that would just be saying, hey, shoot me, I'm a thruster. Okay. Um. Different kinds of turrets. We have interior. <laughs> no. Silly. Gatling. Now we get to pick where guns go, and they take steel plates, which I have plenty to start. Alright, so on the front, I say we go Gatling turret. Right here. Right here. Right on this conveyor junction. Can I do that? Will you let me game? Hmm? Hmm? Doesn't matter which way it goes. I don't think so. I think that's the correct way. Did you just turn. Yeah, nope. That ain't the way, Muley. So it would be that thing on the back, like this. Yep. Okay. Uh, thing. I meant terminal. Whatever you want to call it. And what are you? What are you? You're a... Okay, you're one of those. So, we go to number seven. Go here. This needs to be welded before I place the turret. Actually, that one probably need welded before I did the turret. Let's go get some... Let's do some conveyors. Like, seriously, we need to do conveyors. Um, I need to hover over this one. So I need interior plates, construction components, small steel tubes, motors. Uh, put all these away for now. Need interior plates, so... Interior plates. Yes and yes. And construction components. And small steel tubes and motors. Um, small... <laughs> Small steel tubes. And motors. 44 motors. Do I have any more? Plenty. 100 more of those. Perfect. Okay. Um, let's at least get this side of the conveyors done. Beautiful. Done? I didn't check. 100%. Uh, we'll worry about that right in, in a bit. We'll get this taken care of. I guess I could have carried some sm small steel plates just to put stuff on. Okay, so there's that. Um, reason for this being a tube and not a conveyor is because that makes it airtight and this is actually cheaper than the junction by a little bit. Um, this has... Okay, the junction has a second layer of uh, construction components and 20 small steel tubes compared to 12. So yeah, it is a little cheaper. Not by much, but... Still got enough of everything. Good. Let's come over this way. There's one over here. And conveyor junctions are airtight blocks. It's very nice. So we've got that. We've also got some in here I should probably take care of. Because 
they're gonna get covered up with something someday. And some down here. I think I got those. Yep. Any red? I don't see any red on the radar. That's a good thing. I gotta figure that shape out. It looks, I don't know, it, looks, it doesn't look bad, but I know it's intentionally not supposed to be like that. And that bugs me the most. Oh, better take care of you. Small steel tubes. The first thing to run out. A uh, tube. The small steel kind. Give me a thousand. Boop. Small steel tubes. Yes, please. And a couple of these. Just for funsies. Two, 200 something is more than enough, I think. This junction. That's where I was. So you. Uh, you. Oh, I was, you know, I was thinking, I was. I was uh, trying to remember if I actually had enough junctions in here for air and stuff too, because I didn't even think about it. Um, but this is going to be an airtight room. Thinking I was going to do something here different. Um, I was going to have this be a hangar door to make it airtight in there, because as a commenter mentioned, this opening and closing is going to kill a lot of air because this has to fill up. So we'll have an air, uh, we'll have a vent here, but we'll also have a vent in here separating this room. But I don't know. We'll, we'll have to think about this. I'm thinking hangar doors would be the easiest way. I'll probably just have to take out these two stairs and have some hangar doors. Maybe do something with this corner. That's not a big deal. And then flatten that out somehow I don't know we're thinking about it guys okay um I've got everything what am I doing doing these junctions because I want them done because they do require quite a bit okay what's gonna run out next motors probably everything's blue on the radar we're good you only take six motors. Oh, interior plates. Oh, ho, ho, caught me off guard. Uh, interior, ooh, okay. Uh, give me a thousand more of these. Thanks. Which we will use a lot of them. Um, because we're gonna have some interior walls going in, in some spots. My goal, guys? is to have a episode 100 launch. Um, so th the episodes may be a little longer or shorter depending on uh, what's going on. Like today I'm doing conveyors. That was my goal. I did kind of work on the shape too so that's gonna add to the time. I hope you guys don't mind. Um, I'm so sorry. Okay. Green light. Green light. Um, what did I? M okay, I got all the interior plates there. I have to recheck these junctions because I was out of interior plates. So we better make sure that we got them all. You're good. Uh, okay, you took everything but interior plates. Okay. I guess we'll know when we know, right? Production. Oh no 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 no! I got lots of motors. 170, sure. We'll just keep going back for what we run out of and eventually run out of everything, right? Okay. Twelve small steel tubes. Good thing I got a thousand of them. 771, I lied. Okay, that looks like pretty round numbers. Good. Good. 
What am I missing? It's always good to recheck your work. Doesn't matter uh, how you can't check it enough times. It's like one plus one equals two, but you forgot the exponent. Construction components and some uh, some of that sweet sweet air, so I don't have to go mining for a little bit longer. Construction components, boop, and make me a thousand. <clears throat> now, what did I miss it on? It was this one, right? Okay, you're done. 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 Is that all of it in here? I believe so. So there's a conveyor layout for this room, which this is an important room. I wouldn't mind having... Is there another... I think this is the only place it comes up at. And I'm glad it's in the ship interior, but... Like, this thing's not going to be doing a lot of broadsiding. I'm either going to be running away or going towards something, so... <clears throat> so yeah, this isn't a broadside ship. For sure. Okay, um, guess we move into here. Interior plates and construction components. Um... Away a hundred of those, grab another hundred of those. Motors. Okay. Continuing on. Construction components. Way too many. It's all right. I think we'll. I think we'll make it. So we've got air. Um, this might change though, because pending on that room upstairs, which happens here, I'll probably have to cut one of these out for a junction, and then we might branch it out. Uh, it would be one for turret, one for turret, and then this one would be air for that room isn't a bad idea. Okay. Is that it? Guns. I think... I think those ones downstairs in the power room are... are uh, good to go. As far as... Whoop! There we go. Yeah, they're all done. Green lights, good to go. Okay, let's get some weapons on this thing. I'm excited for that. And I took the wrong route. Okay. I keep coming up here. I need to quit that habit. Go out the airlock. <clears throat> That'll definitely... Be a thing. Um, I'm not gonna worry about you yet. Okay, Gatling turret right here. Four. Uh, not only missile defense, but for attacking. Do that. Um, worry about this in a bit. Let's get these two up. I think these two are gonna be. Um, rockets. Oh, I already have them. Right there. Missile turret. Which face this way. Okay. Same with you. That on the back. Perfect. It's three. 
these on the side are probably going to be oh that's why that's why I put that there because I know this is a 3x3 three three. Uh, maybe it'll still look okay I think it's just for turning mainly should we go rockets or should we go guns let's go guns we have rockets right on the other side so just like that Boop. I want these at rest to look different if that makes sense it does to me there we go facing forward don't worry they'll catch the sides too but Okay, that takes up a lot of the shape, and I like that. But yeah, it'd be pretty cool to have something right here. Like, we might even... We'll probably put some, like, uh... Like a heavy... Let's do... Let's let's test this. I just want to look at it. So we go heavy. Two windows. Two control seats, if I can fit them. The control seat, maybe here. And here. It's going to be tough to get those turrets in, isn't it? Unless I pipe them up behind and you just have a small corridor to get to your seat. And that makes more sense. Then we go window here. Well, we want... We want the... We want the seat to have... Protection, but... Well, definitely protection. Now, this is just a placeholder. I just want to see the the shape of this. How would I do this? Um, I would go slope here. Then I would go... It's just gonna be a one high room. <clears throat> About like that. Uh, some of it's gonna be windows. Some of it's gonna be uh, armor blocks. But it's gonna go like that. And then I think the profile for the side we're gonna have to work it out but I'm thinking it's gonna go right into the shape right here so we have this much room to work with um, it's gonna be cramped it's gonna be pretty windowless like some of these could be windows if you guys can see my thought process so maybe this is a window maybe that's a window one of these is an armor block maybe they're both windows I you know something to think about and that's kind of the shape I want to look at um, in taking up some of that flat spot now really give them something to look at I want your guys' opinion on that one and I think I like that a little bit better this nose is pretty small but I don't know I don't think it needs to be any bigger either honestly God, the music's pretty intense for sitting here building. Thanks, space engineers. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. Sorry if that killed your ears. That kind of that was pretty loud. I'm surprised I didn't wake up the kid. Um, where are we at? Forty-three minutes on my clock. How did I do today, guys? I'm gonna let that sit. Because you know what? Sometimes if I sleep on it, I come back and I say, that's good. Or I say, nope, that has to change. It's kind of like when I got finished with this and I looked at it and went, no, it doesn't look good. Um, I'm also curious what's right here. Please be nothing important. That's something we got to work around. Hmm... Easy to work with, though. We could just have a corridor that goes up. Pew. It would go up. There'd be a small catwalk. Maybe a slope that goes up into it. Now maybe change this to a another slope. I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna let. I'm gonna sit on it, okay? Because I mean, I could just build it, but yeah. Tell me what you got. Oh, 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 oh. One more thing. One more thing. This. This is the last thing. Argamus Sublime 
who's been with this series for a very, very long time and given me so many good suggestions. Um, Ar Argamas Sublime. Argamas Silver Comet. I'm sorry, Argamas. Um, I'm thinking of the ship that, you know. Anyway, um, he said we should put some gun turrets back here. And these gun turrets are going to be special. Because these turrets aren't going to shoot ships. They're going to be especially for missiles. Because when I inevitably say, oh no, we need to run, because you guys know I'm going to at some point. Um, I've done it for 96 episodes now. Um, these will take down the missiles behind us, protecting the battery wall and the power room and our thrusters what do you guys think is that a great idea or what i think it's absolutely genius and yeah i love it i love it that's a great idea because we don't really need guns on the back i mean like offensive weaponry what name a situation where i'm gonna back up and uh shoot stuff i need to cover this up holy cow Good job there melee but yeah, that's the thing. Um, tell me what you guys think in the comments. Leave me a like, comment, favorite, subscribe. Tell your friends uh, about this. Um, tell them four more episodes until launch. Because I'll make it happen. This was a big one. Next step um, is getting this ship at least airtight. If not complete on the inside, airtight on the inside. I want to turn on the air and not have to worry about it. That's the next goal. And get these things figured out. Get some silicon too, Mealy. Maybe I should do that. I should get some silicon because that's part of airtightness. Anyway, thank you, thank you, thank you. And I will see you guys in the next episode. Bye!